evening, folks. Melvin here. There's just something about vampire babes that gets my blood pumping. Maybe it's their sharp teeth, pale skin, or simply their affinity for sucking. Either way, they drive me mad with lust, which is why today I'd like to present my list of top five sexy vampires in gaming. Don't be fooled by the Disney princess ball gown and talking cat umbrella. Underneath the hood of Blaze Blue's Rachel Alucard is a lean, mean, sucking machine. Inheriting leadership of her vampire clan after her father, the ancient and wise Gordon Fisherman got old and crappy, Rachel found herself the bearer of observer powers that made her both powerful beyond measure and unable to do anything but watch time loop over and over again in the intricate computer simulation she calls kind of sort of home. She's also a crusty dick with Borgi friends and a werewolf butler, making her an excellent candidate for an undead toot boot now that her powers have been revoked by the master control program. Still, if you can get past the high-pitched transforming bat buddy and rich kid attitude, Rachel's got a banging anime bod and enough daddy issues to fuel three concurrent sex vacations at the most upscale of Cabo resort spots, taking your mind off her unshakable rank in the series' lower mid-tier. This fox has a final destination, and the item is... My weenus. Ah, Vampire the Masquerade. It was the best of games, it was the Vampire the Masquerade of games. But one thing it brought to the table was Teresa Vorman, hourglass-shaped vampire businesswoman and self-proclaimed Lady Prince of Santa Monica. An obsessive compulsive prude who hates sex, Teresa was infinitely improved upon as a character with the introduction of her alternate personality and black screen sex scene counterpart Jeanette, who dressed like a streetwalker and acted like, well, also a streetwalker. The terrifying storm of sex, violence, and brand synergy that Jeanette and Teresa represented was only underscored by a tragic past with an abusive father that I totally skipped to have sex with them, since sleeping with Jeanette is literally sleeping with Teresa. Two for one hot dogs. Kids get in for free. At least until one tries to murder the other and you're forced into a can we trust Harvey Dent moment in a dirty bathroom. Spoiler alert, you can't sleep with one, and the other is a gray-skinned fang job machine with raccoon eyes. Let's just make this easy on both of us. In a land plagued by violence and strapping young men with whips, only one sultry undead nun can rise from her sex tomb and into the night. The one, the only, Castlevania's Carmilla. Originally a founding member of the anti-Frankenstein task force, the Brotherhood of Light, Carmilla's days of demon hunting and monster mashing came to a close when her physical body died and her soul took its place as a creator being second only to God himself, along with full health benefits and a punch card for the Jamba Juice to heavens over. With the spirit out of the way, a demonic entity took control of her physical shell and slutted it up like a Miami prom queen, sporting a kind of sort of nun habit that leaves absolutely nothing to the imagination, save for how it doesn't slip off when she does that spooky floor gliding thing. Now the bona fide bride of the Big D himself, the D is for Dracula, you Josie Grossies. This saucy paranormal entity is virtually guaranteed to reign as Dreadlord of the Bedroom, irrevocably locking down the kink vote when she takes time out of her unending pit of slave men wang to hit on her son in law. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little shaft, Mom. Daughter of the Lord of Vampires and unknowable dimensional scroll enthusiast, Serana may be a relative newcomer to the frozen wastes of Skyrim, but that doesn't stop me from wanting a big old bite of her creature of the night. Creature, of course, referring to her, you know, butt. As one of the most powerful neutral followers in Tamriel, an unkillable blood slurping hottie, Serana's dominion over my heart was only reignited when she repeatedly and forcefully denied the amulet of Mara that I looted from a local bartender that I killed and ate in front of her. Still, she leads a dragonborn into her dad's Scooby-Doo ghost town castle to murder him into dust for the greater good, deciding that no matter your motivations, 4,000 gold hold bounties, or magical cannibal demon rings, she still make pithy observations about caves with you that you couldn't reinterpret as flirting until you're forced to marry her with console commands. Developer intention? Shmeveloper smish mention? I've got a yellow-eyed beauty to whisk away to my unfurnished mud hut. Come to me, my love. Is there really any sexy video game vampire more iconic than Rain? Seriously, think about it. Morrigan, not a vampire. Morinth, not a vampire. Third one, also not a vampire. Blood Rain has created the penultimate sexy hell beast from the skin-tight polypother sex suit to snapping guys next with a single kegel. How can you even come close to competing when Rain's legs can independently kill three different people at the same time and her labia majora is deadlier than SEAL Team 6? She literally fought an army of Nazi vampires to stop Hitler from transforming into Satan, then spent the next 60 years killing her brothers and sisters before they can pull a 30 days of night and eat everyone. That's at least 50 times better than Nazi hunter Brad Pitt, 100 times stronger than vampire hunter Abraham Lincoln, and 200 times more kawaii than Sailor Gandhi. Nothing could possibly ruin the image of this immaculately toned, smooth as baby butt half-blood murder machine, unless you're referring to the 2005 Uwe Boll film starring Billy Zane and Meatloaf. That was pure magic, Boll. Twin Peaks and Spice World? How you ruined it, I'll never know.
And there you have it, our top five sexy vampires. So the next time you're in the Romanian countryside and see an upside down murdered baby resting on top of an anthill, avoid invoking the wrath of a vampire heart cricket and pick up a game with one of these sexy succubi instead. You'll be glad you did. Anywho, I'm Melvin, and that baby thing is a real folktale. I know, Europe is very frightening. Hey folks, Melvin again. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all our latest videos. If you're already a subscriber and just want to see more of me, go ahead and click on that picture of my suave behind to see a playlist of all my videos. They are pretty tight. Anywho, I'm late for a rendezvous with another sort of lady of the night, so Melvi out.